Hello everyone, welcome to Satik GK quiz number 205. This video is aimed to help you with your state and central government exams like SSC, UPSC, state examinations like uh, PSCs and banking and insurance related examinations like RRB, IBPS, etc. I'm Ritrisha from GK today and I'll be taking you through this. Who among the following assumed the title of Mahendra Ditya? Correct answer is Kumara Gupta 1. Kumara Gupta 1 was also known as Chakra Ditya or Mahendra was an emperor of the Gupta period in 415 to 455 CE. He was the son of his predecessor Chandra Gupta II and Dhruva Devi. He was an able ruler and retained intact the vast empire which extended from Bengal to Kathiawar and from the Himalayas to the Narmada. Which among the following is not true about C. Raja Gopalachari? Correct answer is that he served as the Premier of Bombay Presidency. This is incorrect. He served as Premier of Madras Presidency and Governor of West Bengal. Indian National Congress was founded during whose term among the following in 1885? Correct answer is Lord Dufferin. Lord Dufferin served as Governor General of India and Viceroy from 1884 to 1888. During his tenure, the Third Burmese War led to annexation of whole of Burma and Burmese ruler was exiled to India. Who among the following was Commander-in-Chief of India between 1902 and 1909 and is noted for large-scale reforms, the greatest of which was the merger of three armies of the presidencies into a unified force? The correct answer is Lord Kishnan. He is also known for reconstruction of the disorganized Indian army against the wishes of then Viceroy Lord Curzon. Adi Granth was compiled by which of the following Sikh Gurus in India? Correct answer is Guru Arjan Dev. Guru Arjan was the first of two Gurus martyred in the Sikh faith and the fifth of the ten total Sikh Gurus. He compiled the first official edition of Sikh scripture called the Adi Granth, which later expanded into the Guru Granth Sahib. Who among the following was a member of Simon Commission, who subsequently became the British Prime Minister and later was to oversee the granting of independence to India and Pakistan in 1947? Correct answer is Clement Attlee. So, the Indian Statutory Commission was commonly referred to as the Simon Commission, was a group of seven British members of Parliament under the chairmanship of Sir John Simon. One of its members was Clement Attlee who became committed to Indian independence by 1934 and achieved that goal as Prime Minister in 1947 in the granting of independence to India and Pakistan. Who was Prime Minister of England when Simon Commission came to India to review the working of Government of India Act 1919? Correct answer is Stanley Baldwin. Stanley Baldwin was a British Conservative Party statesman who dominated the government of the United Kingdom between the world wars, serving as Prime Minister on three occasions. Year 1674 AD marks which of the following important events of life of Shivaji? The correct answer is his coronation. Shivaji was formally crowned Chhatrapati, meaning Lord of the Umbrella, on June 6, 1674 at Raigar Fort and given the title Kshatriya Kulavantas Sinha Sanadeshwar Chhatrapati Shivaji Maharaj. The city of Azimabad, which was abandoned since 7th century AD, was revived by Sher Shah Suri and thus he founded modern day Patna. So, the city of Patna was known as Azimabad during the 18th century prior to the British Raj. In ancient times, it was known as Pataliputra. Sher Shah Suri had removed his capital from Bihar Sharif to Pataliputra. Not long after Sher Shah Suri's death in 1545, Patna and Bihar fell to the Mughals. For which of the following Sher Shah is not known? Correct answer is introducing the system of education by canals. He is known for organizing the system of civil administration and issuing first rupiah which was used till 20th century. Uh, Sher Shah, by the dint of his military skills, daring acts, great courage and resourcefulness, not only established a mighty empire, but also by his shrewd capacity for organizing unique forethought and intimate knowledge of administration, made necessary arrangements for smooth and efficient administration and controlling the coveted empire. That's all for today's quiz. Until the next video, goodbye.